Hi guys, it's Chris at Cork and Crown, back in my cider shed with some more cider to try. And it's another one from Ross and Y. God, Chris changed the record. Can't help it, they make so much stuff, and it's also interesting, I have to talk about it a lot. That's just the way it is, okay? They do make a lot of different things, and I don't even, you know, sample half of them, you know, so God knows what I'm missing out on, but you know, I can't have everything all the time. So I just have to order in. You know, sometimes I've tried it and I thought, yes, I want to have a load of that. Or I'm just reading the description and going, let's try that one. Let's try that one. Let's try that one. You know, rarely have anything bad from them. It's just all so different. Right. So what is it? Well, it's not in one of their bottles. It's in this bottle. It's in this flip top bottle. So this is bag in box. It's a bag in box from them. It's the first one I've sold, actually. This is Michelin. It's a Michelin blend. 6.3% still. That's all you need to know. So let's pour it out. So it's the first uh, Ross and Rye Bang & Box I've ever done a tasting of on this show. It's not a show. It's a bloke in a shed. But you know what I mean. All right, let's pour it out. Oh, hang on. That's what I was drinking before. So I've got a nice colour to it. But Michelin, bitter sweet apple. Uh, brought over from France in the late... 19th century were the most widely planted apples in this country at one time i think more for blending than for sort of single variety but we've had some nice single variety from um ross and white uh so yeah let's give it a, a color 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 where's my thing in my jig there it is good color in it i mean it's amber it's quite a light amber but it's definitely amber and it looks very nice indeed no smoking gun because there's no bubbles in it. Let's smell it. Oh, that smells like a proper cider. It really does. Um, it's got that, got funkiness to it, sweat apple to it. I don't know what leather, leatheriness, do I know what leather smells? Pardon me, do I know what leather smells like? We don't know, Chris. Um, yeah, I think I do. I think it smells leathery as well. I mean, it doesn't smell of apple. I, I don't think. It really doesn't. It smells of earthiness and, and leatheriness and, and sort of countryside and stuff like that. It smells like orchards, I want to say. Sweating apples. Yep. All of the above. So, let's give it a taste. Bone dry, decent tannin, soft tannin on the front, so astringency, squeakiness. Maybe the merest hint of hard tannin on the back. Good fruit in the middle. Um, so I've been giving it, I was giving this out, we can give out tasters again at the market, which is brilliant. So I've given people a taste of this to go, I don't think you're going to like this, because this is a proper dry cider. Because people say they want dry cider, I say, hey, she want dry cider, hey, she you want dry cider. Because if all you've drunk is like commercial dry cider, you haven't had dry cider. You've had probably a medium cider. Well, I'd qualify as a medium. This is a proper dry cider. So I give them it to get a barometer, you know, a feel for what it is they actually mean or what they actually like. So quite a few people have been like, whoa, taken them out by it. And then gone, oh yeah, I'll have a bottle of that. So it, it, people do like it. But it's because I've warned them. Warned them. I've given them an expectation, like, this is going to taste like this, okay? So forget the other things you've had. So if you've had, if all you drink is like, I don't know, Thatcher's or whatever, Westerns or whatever, Aspel's, you know, this is proper dry cider. And it's still, which some people aren't used to either, because people always assume that cider has to be sparkling, when traditionally it all would have been still, you know. Only the fancy stuff would have been sparkling. Um, it has got that kind of... Aged sweated apple character. So I really do like low acid this. So it is a bit of sweet, not a bit of sharp and sharp. So it's a low acid um varietal anyway. Um but the, you, I mean, there is there is apple in there, but it's like a it's like a darker earthier sort of apple. Not like a not like a you know, a Brayburn or a or a jazz or something like that. This is a this is a darker brooding sort of apple character, which I like very much. Um yeah, nice funkiness on the nose. Almost like a getting like, almost like a Demerara character on the nose as well. It's bone dry, but the smell the, 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 there's an aromatic that makes you think like Demerara sugar as well. 
But as I always say, you can't smell sweet. You can smell things that you associate with sweet, but that doesn't mean the thing you're going to is going to be sweet. You can get caught out massively by, by, massively by that often. You know, I did it first because I seen if it smelled sweet. You know, oh, it smells of honey. It's going to be sweet. And you drink it, it's like, wow, it's born dry. You know, so you, it's something that you have to, your expectations have to be tempered by that. Um, it has got tannin. Not too tannic though. It's almost like it's got the tannin of like an average red wine, let's say. Um, I like it. I think this is a good food sort of drink. But something with fat, uh, I think would be really good with this. So cheese always. I always say like pork and stuff, but pork and fatty pork with that or pork and that. But it's a great combination, you know. I mean, I'm sorry to keep like churning it out, but it works. So why not go for that? I think with food it would be great. Um, yeah, some rich fatty foods. It's good. It's good. It's a sipper though. It's a sipper. It, you drink it more like wine because it's still, I think, um, because it coats your palate more. Um, um, so there's mo you get less aromatic at the back of your nose, but you get much more on your palate because it, it coats your whole palate because you've got the bubbles there to sort of like um, lessen the surface area, if you like. It's um, So yeah, it's definitely a sipper, but it's one that I'm definitely going to drink all of for sure. But not tonight, because tomorrow I cycle to Brighton, 55 miles, well 60 miles once you factor in, I've got a cycle to the start. So a 60 mile cycle, so I don't want to be drinking a litre of 6.3 cider. Well I do, but I'm not going to. So maybe tomorrow night when I get back, I'll drink it all then. Alright guys, there you go. So single variety, Michelin, still cider from Ross on Y. And we like, we like. Thank you for joining me in my shed. I do hope you join me again, but until that time, cheers.